Okay, so we're looking at the bottom of a wicking olive pot here. So you can see the hole there. That's the drain point. Obviously, this one's growing a curry plant and a few basil. And I'm looking to plant it up with a bit more perennial chicory for leafy greens for the kitchen. But the issue with this barrel is it seems to be drier than the others. So I was worried that it's got a leak on its seal. So I've opened it up. It does give us an opportunity to have a look at the pots upside down in the barrel and see that they're still keeping a nice reservoir for water. And this pot would be six months to a year old. So you can see the wood chips are broken down a little bit. They've silted up a little bit. The roots are right down in the bottom of the pot, so that's a good sign. That means they're not rotting. Obviously different plants will have different capability to get out down into that wet zone. I'm just gonna have a look at the seal now. Put it in the sun. So this is the seal down here, rub gasket. So while it does have a seal, you can see that down in this corner it's pinched and it's been leaking. Might not be able to see that so well. But anyway, just be careful when you're using the bottom of the olive pot. The seal needs to be in and it needs to be solid. And uh, you need to keep it quite tight. And make sure that it's not twisted when you do it up. So when you get your olive barrels, take the lid off, make sure there's a seal. Put it in properly and pop the lid on nice and tightly before you turn it into a wicking pot. This is uh, Charles from Terra Perma. Thanks for your time.